Hey there YouTube, uh, another video in the, my series of how did I do it. Uh, just a quick little explanation on how I drilled all my holes for the NFT, NFT system. And what you see in front of you is um, a few of the channels for the uh, uh, first or second set, excuse me, of nursery uh, area. And um, basically what I did was I made a jig out of some 1x4s and a 2x6 and um, of my different spaces. So here on this side I have uh, every slot spaced uh, four inches apart and what I've got is just a little piece of PVC. I can move that from hole to hole as I drill, drill my holes. So the idea is put that in the first spot and it's really nice if you have a uh, drill press with a laser. That way you can line everything up super quick. Nice and easy like that. Um, so as you can see, there's my hole for, for one uh, every other row, and then the opposite rows are going to be at these holes. And on this side, I have them marked for the uh, wider spacing for the grow out. But uh, basic idea is I would put my tube up here, and when I turn the drill on, I get my X. So I can line that X up on my center line, which you may or may not be able to see here. And when I do that, then I know that everything is centered and ready to go. So basically just put the, uh, put the piece of pipe right up against uh, my stop here, drop the plunger on my drill press, and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, now you may notice that my drill does not have the, uh, the bit in it, the center bit, and basically I took that out just to make it easier for uh, to me to get the little uh, plugs out. So basically I can just take this little file here I have, pop the plug out real quick and easy, and I've got a, a nice, uh, nice clean cut. So that's the idea there. So basically I drill a hole, move this down one, slide the pipe, drill another one, move it down, slide the pipe, drill another one. You get the idea. Um, so that's, that's the, uh, the way that I've done all my pipes. Every single channel I have is going to be done this way uh, with this press. Now, the, what I did is took a 10-foot piece of 1x4 and uh, put it on my drill press, marked out each of the holes and the center of the pipe, drilled each of the holes, and then cut this in half on my uh, uh, table saw. And uh, again, did that again on this side. These are 7-inch spacing, uh, just so that I'm ready for doing the grow out. And so what I can do is take this entire um, jig and I have guides for my close spacing on this side as I move it down and then also when I'm ready to do my grow out all I have to do is line up my laser with uh, either one of these marks put my piece in, cut my first hole, move it down cut my next hole, move it down and so on so you kind of get the idea. Uh, now the, the biggest challenge I've had with this was keeping the holes lined up and I solved that simply by marking, and hopefully you can see that, with a pencil, the center line and then I use my laser like I showed you before to line up on that center line before I uh, make a hole. Uh, my other idea, which didn't work out and I'll tell you why, was to uh, build this little jig and the idea was that uh, these two arms would sit down inside here and keep the piece in the same spot no matter where it is. That way the top is always the top and there's there's no thinking about it. The issue I have is that this fitting does not fit inside my pipe so I would have to put a coupler on there and then the, the spacing on these would have to be widened and it would only be supporting the channel on the, the front with a coupler and then also I'd have to get another coupler on the back and so you can see here it's not supported so not, the holes aren't going to be exactly the same. Uh, now if you don't care if they're the same this could be a good solution uh, but if you want to keep it simple this works great. So hopefully that's helpful to someone out there and hopefully you enjoyed. More to come very soon. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Bye.